Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Today we're going to prepare lasagna, and we're going to prepare vegetable lasagna. It's a very creamy, loaded with vegetables, a cheesy, super kid-friendly recipe that I really, really suggest you to try. And here in front of me, I've got zucchini, and I've got one leek, and I also have carrots. <laughs> so we're going to grate our uh, veggies with a large hose, okay? Let's do it. Chop, chop, chop. We have our grated uh, uh, zucchini, grated carrots, and I thinly slice uh, the leek. In a large skillet, I'm going to add one, two, three, four rounds of extra virgin olive oil, and I'm going to let it heat for 30 seconds. And now we're going to add the leek first, carrot, zucchini. I will let them cook uh, uh, at medium high for a good five to eight minutes. I want my veggies to get nice and tender, and I'm not going to season now. I will season at the very end. Five minutes later, you will see that your veggies are starting to release some of the water. Okay, and basically you want this water to evaporate, so a few more minutes for me before turning the heat off. Let me check. See? No more water. I'm going to add a good teaspoon of sea salt. That's the kind of texture that you want to obtain, and it's super hot as you can see. Bechamel sauce or white sauce, one of the easiest sauce to prepare, to be honest. You only need the butter, flour, milk, salt, and nutmeg. That's it, easy. First thing to do, as you can see, we are melting the butter. So the heat is at minimum. We're going to add the flour, and then quickly, we're going to stir to create a silky, smooth kind of dough. No grains. The heat is still set to minimum. Now we are slowly going to add a bit of water, uh, sorry, a bit of milk. And the milk is room temperature, a bit at a time. And then we're going to stir. Perfect. Another bit. Okay. And stir. And I added all my milk. Nice. So I make sure, first of all, that there are no grains left. We're going to season with some salt. Second, I'm going to add just a bit of nutmeg. This is a good half a teaspoon. The heat is that medium low. I will keep stirring for a good five, six minutes up until the flour will start working creating a smooth cream that is our sauce. Ooh, it starts thickening, see? Okay, it's almost ready. So, we do not want this bechamel sauce to be too thick because we need some liquid because the, the liquid bechamel sauce will help cooking the lasagna in the oven and the lasagna will stay nice and soft. Teaspoon out, see? If it stays in the back of the teaspoon, like that, okay? It means that it's, it's the texture that we want to get. That's how thick we want our bechamel sauce to be. We're going to add our bechamel sauce into our veggie mix. And we are going to mix everything. And we're going to create a super creamy and super yummy, by the way, vegetable sauce bechamel vegetable sauce so this is my beautiful bechamel and veggie uh, sauce this is uh, my baking sheet and here i have some provolone cheese sliced already sliced grated parmesan cheese and my pasta that i didn't cook i'm going to drizzle some extra virgin olive oil and I also like to add some breadcrumbs, okay? So that the pasta will not attach. And also I like that kind of uh, texture of the breadcrumbs at the base. Let's start with placing our first layer of lasagna, okay? And you want to, you know, 
lightly overlap them and okay if there is a corner that's my trick i just break a corner so that look it's nice and attach pending of the shape of your um of your baking sheet you might need to either cut your lasagna enough uh, or create like you know i really kind of pre-cut small pieces and how to cut the lasagna it's very easy just go try to make some pressure and even if they're not regular don't worry we are not more going to create perfect lasagna we're going to create yummy lasagna here and so let's keep going with the puzzle first layer of pasta is down we're going to add our lovely sauce okay and we're going to cover the whole surface first layer of veggies down now look we're going to place on top some provolone cheese six slices i think that would be perfect on top just a drizzle of grated parmesan cheese like that last layer of pasta and of course last layer of veggie bechamel mix i will add parmesan cheese i'm also going to add some breadcrumbs Weasel of extra virgin oil of oil. Ta da! My lasagna is ready to go in the oven, uh, 400 degrees uh, for a good um, 50 minutes, one hour, because the pasta needs to cook. This is a great recipe that you can enjoy with your family or bring to a potluck like I did. Let me know in the comments if you like it. See you. Ciao, ciao, ciao.